Hey, welcome back to Dynamic Conveyor. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about our catenary sag module, how it operates, how it functions, and most importantly, how to install it and how to, how to make it operate correctly. All right, we've got this one tipped up on its side so you could easily see what's going on underneath this whole module. Now, traditionally, once you drop one of these in place of three other modules like that, there's these pieces in here on either side, top and bottom, side to side, and that, you can tell, is relieved. It's been routered out, and that allows room for the belt to sag down in here and provide belt tension. You have to leave these in on your in initial installation. You thread your belt on through. You bring it around your tailstock, and that's where you do your lacing procedure. You want to leave these in because if you don't, your belt on a 100-foot conveyor or 50-foot conveyor is so heavy that you're not going to be able to pull that weight of that belt all the way up and through. So this is intended just to support the belt while you initially run the thread, the rod through the end. Now it comes off really easy. You grab your drill, you get into these little socket head cap screws, take them out, take them out. There's four on each side and that's what's holding these in place. Now after you take these off, you're never going to need them again unless you make your conveyor longer or shorter and you have to restring your belt. So you don't want to lose these and you don't want to lose your little fasteners either. So put them in the holes, put, them in, put it off in a safe place because you're going to be using it again as you need to work on your belt on your conveyor. Now watch how this works in, in once these are both out of here I'm going to show you what you should be seeing if you were looking up under your conveyor. Once you got your belt all put together the weight of the belt in the middle is going to sag down just through gravity, sag down into this area. Sort of like this, right? And what you want to do is you want to leave about a finger or two gap between the bottom of this belt and the lip of this because as your belt stretches over time in operation, it still has more room to move. All right, so that's a catenary sag. That's how to put it in. That's how to take these off last. You're good to go. Give us a call at Dynamic Conveyor if we can help you.